Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Sun News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be the second attempt on this quick video on the Matt Murray trade that they got a third round pick in a stack draft of 2023, the Maple Leafs did, and a seventh in the 2024 draft. Plus, of course, Matt Murray from the Ottawa Senators for just future considerations and retained salary. So the Senators pretty much, it was 25% retained salary, pretty much gave away Matt Murray to the Toronto Maple Leafs, but the big caveat here is the Maple Leafs have to hope they are able to at least reestablish some of the form of the old Matt Murray, because one, he has to stay healthy to get that form reestablished, and numero dos, he also has to get back into being the primetime goaltender he once was when he first came up. Now, I do think Going back and before doing the video, looking at Matt Murray's career, he was once a great goaltender with Pittsburgh, but I do think we kind of overhyped him a little bit. And then when he went to Ottawa, he wasn't in the sexy situations. He's not. He doesn't seem like he's one of those goaltenders that if all other hell is breaking loose, he's going to be able to do a con like he's not going to be like Connor Hellbuck or even how Kemper was that one season with Arizona when he was able to kind of carry the weight and make every save needed. He's more of one of those guys that if he's in a good system, he's going to make all the saves you need him to make. And he can make a few All-Star games because he's going to have... Um, well, he did make a few All-Star games, if I remember correctly, and of course has won a cup. He's going to be able to carry it to victory because he makes all the saves needed. He's not a guy at this point of his career, I think, that's ever going to overly wow you again. I think those days are kind of behind him with the Pittsburgh Penguins. But is he a guy that can come in and be a good steady starter, potentially, for you at 4.6875? It's a question mark, and that's why I put this trade more in the B-minus category as a whole, because you're getting a third-round pick. I think the most valuable thing they got in this trade is more, now they have two third-round picks in next year's draft. Maybe that can allow them to trade for somebody or trade up for a second because of how valuable thirds are in the 2023 draft, because of how stacked it is. And also... You were able to bring in Matt Murray. The seventh round pick is just a complete shot at the dartboard in 2024. But if Matt Murray can stabilize right now, I think I'd probably grade him generously. But he's like a CC plus goaltender still, I think, because he was able to kind of figure it out last year in the minor leagues and figure out things. And hopefully, after being able to kind of reset and hopefully reset mentally for him, the former third round pick he'll be able to kind of come in and hit the ground running with the Toronto Maple Leafs because it obviously seemed like he had to get the heck out of Ottawa. And he didn't have a great final year with Pittsburgh either, so it's been three straight down seasons for Matt Murray. This is kind of the year you would really want to see him bounce back. Oddly enough, he's still only 28 years of age, so he definitely has the time to bounce back, but this is definitely, I think, the damn make-or-break year for Matt Murray. They got a third-round pick. That gives the value up to into the B category for me. The seventh doesn't really do anything in terms of grade value, obviously. And then Matt Murray being a C to a C-plus goaltender, that can kind of maybe make a comeback from there. And uh, it'll be interesting to see if he's able to make that comeback uh, with... Um, the Toronto Maple Leafs and Sheldon Keefe, but I think it's a decent risk just because the Maple Leafs were striving to get more draft picks back because of past trades, and I think this was more in a 2023 draft that is really stacked. They kind of foresaw it as we have to take this risk on Matt Murray in order to bring in more draft capital, which is the main thing that I would say Toronto kind of wants to bring back to continue to build up this team and get more solid young talent around the Jake Muzzins of the world and the Morgan Rileys and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, obviously, that is on that team. You're not going to be able to just have those guys that are paid a boatload of money like the Mourners, Tavares, Matthews, and defensemen of Muzzin and the Rileys I mentioned. Muzzin actually has a good contract. Um, so you're going to have to find cheaper guys and being able to draft well obviously helps with that so also Nicholas Robertson developing he's still only 20 years of age that can really help with that as well so I think this is a decent risk trade but I put it as a B minus just because of the risk Matt Murray is but everybody have a great safe and pleasant day please subscribe down below above on the easy juice widget to keep channel growing to the goal of 300 that is our next goal hopefully we can get to 500 soon enough so I can start posting stuff on the clipboard peace out everybody and stay safe